everybody, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and today, due to a lot of requests, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Spyware Terminator. This is a free uh, anti-spyware program that has real-time protection, scheduled scanning, uh, it has a built-in HIPS module, and um, actually has uh, integrated CLAM AV. Uh, Clam AV is a free open source antivirus. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and test version 2.5.1.28. I just downloaded it a few minutes ago. Here's a brief overview of what Spyware Terminator can do for you. Again, keep in mind this is free. Effective spyware protection, real time shield protection, integrated antivirus protection, expanding database updated daily. Ability to fully customize scans. Host intrusion prevention system. That's the biggie. Easy to use, easy to set up. Let's go ahead and turn on advanced settings and click next. This is made by a company called Crawler. And Crawler, to me, looks very adware-ish. Um, I'm not sure. They make a, a bunch of smiley programs, things like that. Just kind of junky junk stuff, but... I'm not sure what their gig is there. They they either own this product or they're working on it or something. Um, it wants us to install a uh, web security toolbar. Prevent infection to your computer while you browse and search the web. Spyware, adware, and virus and spam protection. Ensures protection within Internet Explorer and Firefox. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and say enable it. So you can also remove it at any time if you don't like it. I'm not going to make Crawler my home page or my search provider. And I'm just going to go ahead and download the full install of Spyro Terminator. I really wish they would make this available on their site. I would like to use uh, a full version of the product instead of having to download uh, the full version. I don't know why they do that. If their uh, HIPS module is decent, if you're installing this on a clean PC and they have a pretty good HIPS module, um, then that's really all you need. because you have to give authorization to anything really installing uh, into your computer from the internet. So if I download anything from the internet and it tries to modify a critical area of my computer like my registry or my Windows folders, um, it'll ask me, do you want to allow this? And if you don't know, then just click deny and find out later. You know, Find out if that application was legitimate later. Usually, if you're not if you're not trying to install something, if you're not popping in a, a CD or DVD, or you're not downloading something that you know is safe, then it's usually a good thing to click deny. I'm working on a set of videos uh, that will show people how to use HIPS in uh, Komodo Internet Security and uh, drive sentry and if this application's decent I'll do one for this application too because it's kind of a mystery for some people they're just they can't get their head wrapped around how it all works when to click accept when to click click you know deny how does it actually actually uh, protect you that kind of thing Okay, it's downloading um, web security guard database file. The downloads are pretty quick. I have a decent connection to the internet. I think I have like a 5 meg connection. It's not too shabby.
but uh, I, I must get three or four emails a day asking me to review this program. So I just had to get this done. Okay, wants to create a desktop icon and create a quick launch icon. I'll go ahead and hit finish. And I need to check my time. Hang on a second. All right. What we want uh, Spyware Terminator to do for us is protect against spyware. You have the option of uh, just protect of protecting it against spyware and viruses, or just do a, an on-demand scanner. We're going to use their their free anti-spyware protection and HIPS protection. It's all real time. Uh, we'll go ahead and send uh, information to them. And here's the interface. You got uh, six tabs across the top and then all your other uh, settings right in here. I'm going to go ahead and look at my real-time protection info. That's the one I'm most interested in. I'm going to go ahead and click Chain Settings. I'm going to enable HIPS and I'm going to go ahead and turn it on high. Save changes. When I enable HIPS and I turn it on high, it says it provides a high level protection. Suitable for experienced users, you may be prompted often. That's true with any HIPS based application. You may be prompted often. Those prompts are going to go down as time goes on um, as whitelisting databases get bigger and bigger and bigger um, we'll have less and less and less prompts to actually go through uh, real-time protection I'm gonna go ahead and turn on advanced suitable for advanced users spyware terminator lets the user decide what to do okay I'm gonna go ahead and move over to settings over here Uh, under general settings, it's going to show Spyware Terminator in the tray right down here. And then it's going to go ahead and uh, report a few things to them. Scan settings, we're going to scan unreadable files. That means locked files. And hang on one second. I'm getting a phone call and I got to answer it. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Be getting phone calls all day. Uh, scan alternate file streams. That's uh, scanning applications that are hidden in the NTFS file uh, file structure, file system. I mean, <clears throat> since this is just a prevention and install video, I'm not going to go over the uh, manual spyware scan. So I'll do that in the next video. Real time protection. This is very nice. Uh, advanced settings for the HIPS. Automatically allow actions performed by safe al applications. I'll save settings. Okay. Under scheduler settings, um, that's for if you want to run a, a spyware scan. I'm not doing any of that stuff in this video. And that's pretty much it for configuring it. Yeah. Yep, that's it for this video. Uh, the rest of the settings are, are mainly used for uh, scanning. Um, so on the next videos, I'll go ahead and test out Spyro Terminator's protection. We'll give it about 10 malicious URLs and see how it does with them. So hang on. We'll move on to video two.